Welcome to my physics class. Uh, the topic for today is uh, pressure in liquids, which is a topic in Form 1. The objectives for today are uh, two. We, want, we would like to derive a formula for calculating pressure due to a liquid column. Then, after we've gotten the formula, we will uh, use the formula in solving a problem. For us to do this, we shall consider a container like the one you can see on the other side of the board, a cylindrical container filled with uh, a liquid. Filled with a liquid of density rho. We have taken a container with a cross-sectional area A and this is a cylinder so is the base area but we are saying that we are assuming that the container has a uniform cross-section. The container has a height H and that's going to be the depth of the uh, liquid in the container so it's full completely full of the liquid we will base our derivation on the formula for pressure which we got in the previous uh, lesson we found that pressure is given by force divided by area in square meter. So we are going to base our derivation on that formula. The first thing we are going to do is uh, find out the volume of liquid in the container. We mentioned that this is a cylinder and therefore the volume of the liquid in the container is going to be given by base area times height. And therefore we are going to write it as A multiplied by H. Now, from the formula again, we require to know the force that that liquid is exerting on the surface of the table. Note that we have not considered that the container exerts a force also. Our focus is only on the liquid column. But we are aware that the container is also exerting a force. We even know that atmospheric pressure is also acting. But we are concentrating on the pressure due to the liquid column. So after we've gotten the volume, we need to think of how we can now get the weight of the liquid. But before we get the weight, we need the mass. So we say mass is a volume multiplied by density. The volume is already here. So we can write this one as A H rho. Volume times density. So we now know the mass. And since we know the relationship between mass and weight, we need now to work out the, the weight or the force, the force which comes from the weight of the liquid in the uh, uh, container. So weight is mass multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity. The mass is already here. So all we need to do is multiply by the acceleration due to gravity. And this therefore becomes AH rho multiplied by G. It means that we can now uh, substitute here where we have F, we now put the weight because that is actually the, the force. So we write AH rho g divided by a 
we can see something here that uh, the area will cancel out and we end up with pressure equal to H rho G. And this is the formula that is used for calculating the pressure due to a liquid column. We have found it as pressure equal to height times density times the acceleration due to gravity. From the formula then we can see the factors that affect pressure due to a liquid column. One, the height of the liquid column. Two, the density of the liquid. And finally, the acceleration due to gravity at the point where the experiment is being done or where the pressure is being determined. We need to look at an example now. And we'll take a very straightforward one. Let's think of a column of mercury, one meter long. Now for us to get the pressure, you realize that we need to know the density of mercury and we need to know the acceleration due to gravity because we are told one meter um, long, that is the vertical length. So we are thinking of pressure due to a column of mercury written mercury in uh, symbol, in the symbol form, H, Hg, pressure due to a column of mercury, one meter long. You're thinking that uh, we have a column of mercury with a vertical length of uh, one meter. Now for us to work out this one, we need the density of mercury. And so we, 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 you need the density of mercury, which is that thing, 600 kilograms per meter cube. We also need the acceleration due to gravity, which uh, we know as 10 newton per kilogram. From there, then we can work out the pressure due to a column of mercury, one meter long because we just use the formula P is equal to H rho G and this is going to be H one meter density 1600 and G 10 and this will finally give us 13600 pascals for your work at home uh, work out the pressure exerted by a column of either no 20 centimeters long we are thinking of that column of either no in the thermometer how much pressure would that kind of a column exert given that either no has a density of approximately 0 0.8 gram per cubic centimeter so for uh, for you to try at home we have a height of uh, 20 centimeter and a density of uh, 0 0.8 gram per cubic centimeter for either one. Find out what pressure that one will exert. But remember, the units here need to be converted and even here, and then we apply the formula directly. With that, we've come to the end of this lesson. Remember to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. You can also ring that bell so that whenever another lesson is ready, you will be notified. Remember also to share with other people who may require to the same knowledge.